Trinity College is Ireland's premier university. It's in the top 100 universities in the world. Founded in 1592. There's 17,000 students in the college, 2,800 staff. From an IT department point of view, we've got about 70 major IT services. This organisation relies on information technology to run its day-to-day -day business. We had utilised our existing capacity for a number of years. Um, we didn't have an ideal site to build a new data centre. The biggest constraint which we faced was the physical space in which to accommodate the room and the ancillary plant. It was quite difficult to find a space for the data centre. So we were looking more at a micro data centre than a large scale facility that some other universities maybe had built. So what we were looking for was a company that really could take ownership of the project from design to build and all the way through to maintaining the infrastructure. Future Tech were heavily involved at all stages in the project and we're very happy with the experience we had with the company throughout. Due to planning constraints, the outdoor plant, approximately 100 tonnes of steel and equipment, were located on the roof of this building. This is a five-storey building, a working building, a live building on a busy street in the centre of Dublin. Academics and students were using the building at the time. The plant was installed over a weekend by sighting cranes on Pier Street and lifting up with street closures at the times of minimum traffic, lifting up onto our roof, onto the steel platform that was constructed without affecting the operation of the building at all. Currently, Trinity College, like many public bodies, are under obligations under EU directives to reduce energy consumption. In our strategic plan, there is an objective to have a green campus, to have a sustainable campus. And from the perspective of building a new data centre then, one of the things we were looking for, one of the drivers, was having a green data centre. A big feature of this installation is the degree of flexibility for occupying racks to ensure that we progressively can occupy them, but also then operate at an optimum efficiency. We are meeting directives to meet 33% reductions by 2020 on our CO2 emissions and energy consumption. It's important to have a data centre that you can rely on. The university is heavily reliant on IT and IT systems for core business processes of the university. Any outages in IT can have a considerably negative impact on the organisation. So the data centre is the foundation on which you build your other IT infrastructure. And getting the data centre right is critical then in terms of building everything else on top of it. End-to-end -end remote control and monitoring was a requested feature in the performance specification. This is a graphical representation of the facility, 22 racks, 20 of which are for uh, compute and storage equipment. One is passive wiring and one is a network rack. If we simply want to drill down into a rack, select it, and we see its vital statistics such as air temperature, water temperature. There's almost a thousand outlets being measured in the computer room. The project was implemented very, very well in the context of the occupied environment in which it was built. When you actually walk into the building, you wouldn't notice that there's been a retrofit completed in the space in which the data centre is occupied. It's been blended in seamlessly into the current building. Trinity College are very pleased with the outcome of the project and future tech's ability to deliver us an excellent facility on time and well within budget.